This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on underwriting of shares and debentures. I wish to solve one sum here before you, which was asked by the institute in IPCC examination. Observe the sum that I intend to solve. This is the sum which I wish to solve here before you. Scorpio Limited came out with an issue of 45 lakh. 45 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 inch at a premium of rupees 2 per share. Promoters took 20% of the share. Remember, shares taken by the promoters, no underwriting commission could be paid for such shares. So only those shares which are issued to public, for that underwriting commission is payable as per underwriting agreement. The promoters took 20% of the issue and the balance was offered to public. So 45 lakhs into 20%, that is 9 lakhs taken up by the promoters, remaining are issued to the public. The issue was equally underwritten by A and company, B and company and C company. They are the equal underwriters. Each underwriter took the firm underwriting of 1 lakh shares each. Subscriptions, 4 rupees 31 lakh equity shares have been received with marked forms for the underwriters as given below. So these are the marked applications. Marked applications means applications received by the company from the public because of the effort of a particular underwriter. So on an application form, there is a marking of A and company. So those applications are considered to be the outcome of the efforts of A and company. So they are known as marked application. For that, they are given direct credit against their gross liability. The underwriters are eligible to a commission of 5% on the face value of the share. Remember, underwriters are eligible to commission of 5% of the face value. The shares are issued at a premium of rupees 2. Now, what is the normal provisions of the company law? Remember, section 46 of the Companies Act 2013. The underwriting commission is limited to 5% of the issue price in case of shares and 2.5% in case of debentures. The rate of commission given above is the maximum rate. The company is free to negotiate lower rate with the underwriter. So these are the provisions of company law. Under section 46 of Companies Act 2013. So maximum commission that could be paid at the rate of 5% of the issue price. In case of shares, 2.5% in case of debentures. 2.5% of the issue price. Issue price means price with premium. Issue price means price less discount. That is the issue price. Here the issue price is 10 plus 2, 12. So commission could be paid at the rate of 5% on issue price of rupees 12. Issue price of rupees 12. But here there is an agreement. There can be an agreement. Company is free to negotiate the rates with the underwriter. So company has negotiated with the underwriter that the commission will be paid not on the issue price, but it will be paid on the face value of the shares. That is an important point that students should keep in mind. So just to have a clarity in the minds of the students, I have just brought the provisions, the summarized provision of the Companies Act as to the payment of under any commission for your better understanding. Now let me start with the sum. So this is the details of the sum. Computation of liability of the underwriters in case of number of shares. The issue is 45 lakhs, 20% given to promoters. So 20% of 45 lakhs, 9 lakhs, issue to public 36 lakhs. The issue was equally underwritten by A company, B company and C company. So equally under, equal underwriting is there. So 36 lakhs divided by 3, 12 lakhs is the liability of each underwriter. So A and company, B and company and C and company took the liability for public issue 12 lakhs, 12 lakhs, 12 lakhs shares. Whatever the application received by the company because of their efforts, the credit has to be given. So marked applications, 
they are deducted straight from their gross liability. In case of C, there is a surplus. Now, underwriter took the form underwriting 1 lakh shares each. Subscription of 31 lakh received. Mark forms for the underwriters are given below. So, form underwriting. Now, question is, is the form underwriting for that, should we give the credit straight away or should it be treated as unmarked application? That's a question generally arises. If you look at this sum, you won't find any reference whether this firm underwriting should be straightway deducted or should be distributed in the proportion of gross liability treating them, them unmarked. That is the question that arises. But in this sum, that problem is not there. Because the gross liability is equal and the firm underwriting is also equal. So there is no question whether the direct credit for the firm should be given or not. That issue do not arise because the firm shares are also in the same proportion of gross liability. So even if you them, even if you treat them unmarked, they will be treated, they will be distributed equally. Because gross liability is in equal proportion. Or even if you treat them as a marked application, then also 1 lakh is the marked application. So you can straightway deduct the form application. In this sum, this problem do not arise. Because the ratio of form application, ratio of shares firm taken by the underwriters, and the ratio of gross liability is same. So this issue do not arise in this sum. That is the another important point that students should keep in mind. So after, after deducting this form, what are the unmarked applications? Total application 31 lakhs. This includes only marked. So marked applications have to be deducted therefrom. So you will get the unmarked application. This 2,25,000 are the unmarked application. They are required to be distributed in the proportion of gross liability. Gross liability is in equal proportion. So this 2,25,000 are required to be unmarked applications are required to be distributed. In the, in the equal proportion, so 75,000, 2 like 25,000 divided by 3. So you will get 75,000 to be credited to the under each underwriter. So 2 like 25,000 divided equally. So 75,000, 75,000, 75,000. Now if you deduct this way, you will find that there is a surplus in case of C and company. And this surplus of 2 like 85,000 is required to be redistributed between A and company and B and company in the equal proportion. So 2,25,000 will be 2,85,000 is plus and distributed equally. So 1,42,500 credit given to A and company. 1,42,500 credit given to B and company. So this is how the net liability is being worked out. To this net liability, you are required to add firm, firm, firm shares. So 1 lakh firm shares are to be added. So this is the total amount, total number of shares that A and company is required to take. B and company is required to take 1 lakh 42,500 shares and C and company is required to take 1 lakh shares. On the basis of this liability that I have determined, what is the amount to be recovered? As per this underwriting agreement liability, against their credit will be given for underwriting commission at the rate of 5% on face value. And net amount to be recovered from the underwriter will be calculated in my next table. So these are the shares for which they are liable to subscribe, they are liable to apply, they are liable to purchase these shares, this many shares from the company. Per share they are required to pay 10 plus 2, 12 rupees. B and company 10 plus 2, 12 rupees. This is the amount underwriters are obliged to pay to the company on shares being allotted as per the underwriting agreement. So as per underwriting agreement, shares are allotted to them. And on the for allotted shares allotted, per share they are required to pay rupees 12. So this is the amount that they are supposed to pay. Now we are required to deduct underwriting commission to which they are entitled to. The underwriting commission is to be paid at the rate of 5% of the face value of the share. That's an important point. So 1 lakh into 10, I don't multiply with 12, I don't multiply 1 lakh shares. I am sorry, 12 lakh shares. I don't multiply this 12 lakh shares with 12 rupees. I multiply with 10 because 
the five percent of the face value of the share is to be considered. So six tax, six tax, and six tax is the underwriting commission to be paid to A company, B company, and C company. So this is the amount to be collected because the shares are allotted to them under 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 underwriting agreement, and this is the amount payable to them by way of commission. So net amount is to be recovered from them. On the basis of that, if I want to write down the journal entry, this is the amount due from A B A company, B company, and C company. This amount is due against the allotment of shares. So opposite to that, share capital account and share premium security premium account will be credited. The underwriting commission for that credit will be given to the underwriters, and the net amount will be recovered. So let me write down the three journal entries on the basis of this liability. Let me do that. A company account debit. B company account debit, C company account debit, to equity share capital account credit. The total of all these shares, underwriters liability, two lakh fifty-seven thousand plus one lakh forty-two thousand five hundred plus one lakh. That turns out to be five lakhs. Five lakhs into ten. So equity share capital account is to be credited with fifty lakhs. Security premium account is to be credited on five lakh shares at the rate of rupees two per share. Ten lakhs. So this is how A company account debit, B company account debit, C company account debit. Two equity share capital account credit, two security premium account credit. Then you are required to write the narration. Being as per the underwriting agreement, amount due from a, from underwriters for the shares allotted to them. This is how you should write the narration, or you can write the narration in your own language. Being amount due from underwriters for shares allotted under the underwriting agreement. So you can write the narration in your own language. Write narration in your own language. Now, this is the underwriting commission payable to them. Underwriting commission being expense to be debited. Underwriting commission expense account debit to A and company six lakh to B and company six lakh to C and company six lakh. So underwriting commission account debit to A and company account credit to B and company account credit to C and company account credit being. Underwriting commission payable to underwriters as per underwriting agreement. That's the narration. Listen once again. B. Underwriting commission payable to each underwriter for the gross liability on the face value of the shares as per underwriting agreement. So you can write the narration in your own language. Now this is the amount to be recovered from them. The total amount received by the company twenty four lakh ninety thousand plus eleven lakh ten thousand plus six x. This is the amount received from the underwriters. So bank account debit total forty two lakhs to A and company account credit to B and company account credit to C and company account credit being amount received from underwriters against allotment after adjusting underwriting commission. That's the narration. So write the narration in your own own language. So this is how this sum is being completed. The important points that I want you to notice in this sum are one: you are required to give commission, underwriting commission on the face value of the shares, though the shares are issued at a premium, because as per agreement, underwriting commission is to be paid, and as per the provisions of company law, maximum commission could be given at the rate of five percent on the issue price of equity shares, and that two point five percent in case of issue price of debentures. That I brought to your notice. Another important point in this sum is where the proportion of gross liability and proportion of firm underwriting is same, then there is no issue whether the credit for firm application should be given or the firm application should application should be treated as marked application or should be treated as unmarked application. That issue do not arise under the circumstances when the gross liability proportion and the firm shares underwritten proportion is same. That's another important point to be noticed by the students. I have also also recorded the journal entry. You can the you can write narration and examination in your own language. I have tried to explain you this. Sir. I feel that you have followed all these things. Just look at it. Thanks to Allah.